there is a new feature on DisherKid which allows you to access and have a TikTok artist account. This is how it looks, as you can see. In order to access this page, you're gonna go on DisherKid, of course. Go up here, go to Special Access, and then click TikTok Artist Account. Once you do, this is gonna be pulled up. The best way I can explain this, and I'm just starting to learn a lot about this, is it seems very similar to a YouTube OAC. We have a YouTube channel, you're doing releases, of course, you're releasing music, and then you connect them, and now that YouTube channel that you have is now an official artist channel. It seems like that's very similar to what's going on here, because as you can see, that once you do this, you can get exclusive features on TikTok, like unlock a brand new music tab on your TikTok profile, similar to YouTube having the releases tab, showcase your new releases, share behind the scenes song stories by creating a featured video to say whatever you want about your music, add by artist labels on your videos, letting everyone know you're the original creator of the song. Very similar to like say on YouTube, if you see that note check mark, it means, hey, this is a verified artist. They're the official real artist. In order to access this feature, pretty simple. You just select your artist, click apply. So you can see I've already done this for Chero. I've not gotten approved yet. I literally just did this. So I'm going to be doing a video maybe in the future about this when it comes to TikTok of is it good? Is it bad? Like I have some mixed feelings being honest about the YouTube OAC. When it comes to TikTok, obviously maybe might be the same. Of course, nothing's ever perfect, but you know, we'll see. Now, as you can see here, going here, in terms of the TikTok artist account, like I mentioned, it's very similar to the YouTube OAC. It's designed for musicians to stand out in app. The artist account is TikTok's latest addition to its vast array of tools to help artists promote their music and leverage the power of their fan community, right? In terms of the basic requirements, very similar to YouTube OAC as well. I know I keep making that comparison, but I think that's a very easy way to look at it. You need at least one song distributed to TikTok. So all that means when it comes to District Kid is you have to have had at least one release on District Kid. If you've released on District Kid and everything's kind of looking good in terms of your releasing because you can manually, you know what, I might as well show you, um, let's quick side note. So if I go here, show you this is a side note while we're talking about this, I can click which stores to release it to. This is the default, right? So as long as you've not touched this, like so you did this, then you might have an issue being honest. But for most people, 99.9% .9 of people, you just leave this the way it is, because why not? You're gonna be releasing or be releasing to more stores. It's all free anyway, right? Uh, so you need you need at least one release and at least three songs and 100 creations are required for the artist tag to appear on your profile. So it is interesting they're saying that, but once you do that, you're gonna be approved. And you can see you can have multiple artists, like say if you have multiple different artist profiles or channels, you can have multiple different TikTok accounts, each one for each artist. And in terms of requesting, you just do this above. As you can see, you kind of connect your TikTok account. So you do have to log in on TikTok on your computer. You then connect it to DistroKid, takes two seconds. Now, if you're wondering, is this worth it or not? Honestly, I'm just gonna say yes. Now, being honest, being very transparent on camera, I've not gotten access to this feature yet. I have seen other artists have it. So I've seen this previously, and I know this does happen a lot in a lot of places online or in general where they create this new feature. They only kind of use it or test it out on like these huge artists. And then they say, okay, we're now gonna open it up to all artists. This happened with the YouTube OAC where there was a point where they were verifying official artist channels for only like big artists. And then they said, okay, you know what? This OAC feature, we're gonna make it accessible to everybody. Same thing with this. And I've looked at the GUI of TikTok on, let's say, artists like Dylan Francis. I think that was the first time I saw like an artist kind of page where it seemed like it was a little bit different. Like the layout was different than like a normal or even a verified TikTok page. I liked it. I thought it was very seamless. It was very clear cut to see, oh, okay, this is Dylan Francis, the artist, and of course the TikToker, kind of both at the same time. I like the way the tabs are set up when it comes to the music and everything. I think this is an excellent feature. And of course, with TikTok continuing to be more popular, I know right now, at least at the time of this video, there is a lot of talk about, you know, could it get banned or whatever? I mean, it's tough to say. I personally don't think it will be, honestly, but I could be wrong. You know, you never know. Either way, at least right now, TikTok is huge. And I've said this before in other videos, my music has gone viral on TikTok. And it's like a snowball effect, right? It goes viral on TikTok. Other people want to go viral because remember, for a lot of TikTokers, they want to look for the next biggest trend. And the best way to do that, and one of the best ways to do that, 
is to find a trending song. And let's say if there's a song with a certain trend to it, and this happened to me with my music, and it blows up, you know, it's a snowball effect. I've done videos about how I've gone viral and everything. It's a snowball effect. You blow up on TikTok, then people are like, wait, what song is this, by the way? Let me check out their Spotify or their YouTube, or let me follow them on all these different platforms, right? So TikTok, <clears throat> you know, although, again, who knows if it's going to get banned or not. I personally don't think so. But regardless, you need to actually have some kind of, like, stance on TikTok, in my opinion. As a musician now, I think one of the tricky things, I mean, I've said this in a lot of videos, and I'll say it again. Half of it is, of course, making really good music. That's always important. But you kind of need to wear a lot of hats as a musician now. And one of those hats that you almost inevitably kind of have to wear is being a social media influencer or content creator. And I know a lot of musicians don't want to hear that. But, you know, I think even, I might even say, if someone came to me, I'm going to be honest, and said, should I go hard and start making YouTube videos about my music? Or should I do, like, TikTok um, TikToks and like say Instagram reels or shorts, right? Should I do long format video or short format video like vertical versus horizontal? I'd probably go with short. If someone came to me and said that you had to pick one or the other, I'd say start making tons of vertical videos based off your music or ways to promote you. The good thing, and even Mr. Beast has said this, that we're living in a day and age now, which is very interesting that you can literally make one short, one vertical video and post it on multiple different platforms. So I can make one, post it on TikTok, Post it on Instagram as an Instagram reel. Post it on Facebook as a Facebook reel. Uh, post it on YouTube as a YouTube short, right? And I can do all of that with just one video. With YouTube, like a video like this, like I'm making now, I can really only upload it to YouTube. Yeah, there are other platforms out there. Like I know Rumble has been getting some steam as a, like a, a rival to YouTube. But besides that, really, I, I feel like horizontal long format video really only exists on YouTube. But the power and the beauty of vertical short format video is you can make one posted everywhere, right? And I'm going a bit down the rabbit hole right now, of course. But when it comes to this feature, I think that it does show that TikTok, now that they're rolling this out, has been really now trying to target musicians. And I think, if anything, the power of TikTok of blowing up music almost out of nowhere is insane. I've seen artists blow up like crazy just from TikTok. It's happened to me, right? And so when it comes to something like this, I know sometimes people are like, eh, I'm not going to care about a TikTok artist account. I don't even have a TikTok. Hate to say, in this day and age, I think you should, being honest. And whether you have a TikTok account or not, like I said, I think you should. This is an excellent feature to attach onto your account to increase the grow and growth and promotion of your music.